Hello everybody, and I'm here to talk to you about Quicker Flack. Quicker Flack is an experimental, fast-paced, time-attack, top-down combo retro hardcore minigame that can be finished in a minute. Which is a testament to how bad I am at video games because I've only finished it twice in six hours of gameplay. Why am I showing you Quicker Flack, you might ask? Well, because I think that this game is horrendously underrated. It is a perfect example of a lot of things that I very much dislike about modern game design, because it removes all of them. The game doesn't have an options menu, it doesn't have any progression, it barely even has a high score tracker, it just keeps track of your best score. The game itself is a single player arcade game where you press the go button by launching the game and you're already in the action. There is a very brief title screen at which point when you hit a button, you're loaded in and you have to start jumping into portals. There are two weapons in the game controlled with left click and right click. The left click controls your left cannon, obviously, and the right click controls your right cannon. You can fire both of them at the same time by shooting both the cannons at once, but here's why this is important. The left cannon gets a slight angle to the left when firing, and the right cannon gets a slight angle to the right when firing. The entire game is about very quickly shooting around obstacles in the lightly generated environments until you get to the end of the game. There's a percentage meter in the bottom left as well as a timer click ticking down as well as ammunition. Your ammunition is refreshed every time you jump into a new portal to go into another map, and when you when the percentage hits 100 uh, down in the bottom left, uh, you get to the end of the game, which is a heart thingy that you shoot a couple of times. I wouldn't be... I'd be shying away from spoilers, however, the entire game is literally the trailer of the game on the Steam page, so you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Achieving S rank is by beating the game in under a minute, however, if you... You, had, you do have 80 seconds to beat the game, so it gives you that extra 20 seconds of leeway. If you hit the end of the timer, you die. So why am I showing you this, you might ask? Well, there's a lot of games that I enjoy but do not enjoy streaming, and I've always thought that maybe it's about time that I find some way of showing them to you. And this is kind of my first way of doing that. Quicker Flack has very much occupied a lot of my brain space, especially when I'm taking the time to render videos or work on other things outside of streaming. It's become one of my go-to pop up in the background, let it idle for a bit, play a couple rounds, and then do some editing, especially when working on interviews. This game, I think, is vastly underrated at only costing just over a dollar here in good old Canada, it is an absolute masterclass on tight game design. The developer Walter has been developing games like this alongside of the Ubermosh series for a very, very long time now, it feels like. Every couple of months to a year, a number one of these, a number, another one of his games will pop up, and I almost always am tempted to buy it. This is one of the first few that I actually snapped and grabbed, though. And I just have to admit that it is not a regretted purchase in the slightest. Do I want you to buy it? I don't know, that's up to you. I just think that this game is extremely underrated and just deserves some more eyeballs on it, even if, you know, all I can do is send my small YouTube channel in the general direction of a very well-designed video game.